Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you five Google Workspace tips that can make your day a little bit better. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the first one, and that is right here in your email, in your Gmail. Let's go ahead and set up a canned message, a message that you're going to use to reply to common questions. And so let's go ahead and just start writing this message, something along the lines of, hey, thank you for reaching out to me about this matter. I'll be happy to help. Here's a link to the course syllabus that contains more information about this question. And I can write as much as I would like here and I can put in a link and I'll just put in a sample link here. Here's a link and I'll go ahead and insert a link. And I'll just put in for this demo, just a random website link. In reality, I'd put in the link to the actual course. Now, I want to use this over and over again. It's the beginning of the school year, and I'm getting a lot of questions from, from students and parents about the course syllabus. So I'm going to use this message probably quite a bit. Now, what I'm going to do is down here in the More Options menu, I'm going to go into Templates, and I'm going to go all the way over here to the right, and I'm going to save this draft as template and save it as a new template and say, this is a demo canned message for fall 2022. Save it. Now, anytime I get an email, I can simply go in and reuse that template. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'll go to my compose menu again and let's say i'm going to send this one out to mason well rather than writing out the message itself i'll just go back down here to more options go into my templates and choose the one i want there's my demo canned message boom fill it all in and send it away just like that so that's the first thing that can be a big time saver over the course of the school year now, the second thing that can make your day a little bit better is also right here in your new message menu in your Gmail. And that is the ability to schedule messages to go out at a later time. So again, let's say I'm sending this message to Mason and I'm going to say, read this important message. Please read this and respond. Now, I might be writing this during my planning period at the beginning of the school day or during my lunch during the school day. And if I send it out right now, I know that Mason's going to reply right away, but I won't be able to read his reply and I won't be able to reply back to him until later in the day. So then rather than sending it out right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it out at a later time, and I can pick a date and time. So rather than sending it out right now, I'm gonna say, I wanna send it out at, let's say, 2 p.m. so that at the end of the day when I'm going through all my messages, I'm gonna make that two o'clock, not 2.40, make that 2 p.m. when at the end of the day when I'm going through all my messages, He's going to have read it and replied, and it won't be flooding my inbox during my school day or during my work day, and I can tackle it at a later time. So now the third thing that can be a big time saver or perhaps just make your day a little bit better is in Google Keep. One of my favorite Google Keep features is the ability to set location-based reminders. So let's say I'm going to create a reminder for myself that there's a fire drill today. And remember to print attendance lists and bring them 
outside with you. Now, I want to remind myself of this first thing in the morning when I get to school. So I can set a reminder based on time. Right? So I'm going to set that for maybe tomorrow morning when I first get to school. And since I have this also installed on my phone, it's going to sync up with my phone and alert me on my phone at eight o'clock as well as on my desktop at eight o'clock because I have Google Keep installed on both of those devices. But instead of date and time, I can also pick a location and have a location-based reminder so that when I show up at a place, as long as I have Google Keep installed on my phone and location services turned on, it gives me that notification when I get to school, when I get to that place. So maybe I wanna pick a place and I'll just simply type in my school. And now when I get to school, it's going to alert me right on my phone. Hey, there's a reminder, there's a fire drill today. Print out your attendance list and make sure you bring them outside with you. Right? Really helpful feature in Google Keep. Now the fourth thing that can make your day a bit better is in Google Calendar. And that is scheduling meetings via appointment pages. Rather than sending emails back and forth trying to pick out the best time to meet with a student or meet with a parent, just set up some appointment slots. So let's say I'm going to have appointment slots at two o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. Every Wednesday, I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna say office hours with Mr. Byrne. And I'm gonna make those appointment slots and we can say they're gonna be 20 minute appointment slots. And we'll save those. And now I'm gonna click on that. Let's go to the appointment page and I'll just give that link to my students or my parents or my students' parents so that they can click on that and book a time with me rather than going back and forth with a bunch of emails. Now I should point out that you can edit this event so that it repeats every Wednesday, in my case, every Wednesday for as long as I want. So I'm gonna do a custom setting. It's gonna repeat for the next 10 weeks on my calendar. So for the next 10 weeks, people can book that time with me via that appointment page. And now the fifth thing that can make your day, make your life a little bit better when you're using Google Workspace is flippity.net. This is actually not a feature within Google Workspace. It is a set of spreadsheet templates that you can use in Google Sheets to make all kinds of cool things, including flippity flex cards, which are a neat multimedia flashcard, which I made a video about not that long ago, linked up right down below. And I have lots of other tutorials about Flippity on my YouTube channel. But you can take any of these templates and create some great things with Google Sheets. If you need certificates, for example, the Flippity certificate template is great. You can take a look at progress trackers, badge trackers, and lots of other things available there on flippity.net can make your life a bit better if you're using Google Workspace and Google Sheets. So those are five things in Google Workspace that can make your day a bit better. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.